Hey everyone, I'm Genevieve. Thanks for joining me today for your best cardio core workout to feel lean fast. We are gonna tighten and tone in all the right places. So all you need for this workout is your body, option to have a weighted vest for added resistance and or a dumbbell, medium to heavy in weight. Uh, you only need one of them for this workout. We are doing a ladder style workout, 50 seconds of work, 10 seconds rest follow along with me and in between uh, we'll do two separate blocks in between those blocks we'll have a 30 second break or option you can hold your break in a plank so follow along grab whatever you need for this workout and let's get to it so i'm strapping on my resistance vest my weighted vest just to give me a little bit of extra push in my workout today and we'll get the timer going First exercise today, two push-ups, 10 mountain climbers for 50 seconds. Get ready, set it up in a plank. Here we go, either from your toes or from your knees. Two push-ups, 10 mountain climbers. Set it up again, toes or knees. 10 mountain climbers. Drive the knees. Take your time. One straight body line here. Don't dip the hips, don't peek the bum. Keep it up. Breathe when it's hard. Right to the beep. All right, everyone, hop it up. We're heading into a burp, burpee with a surfer jump next. It looks like this. Burpee with a push up. Hop it up or step it up, spin it around. Now option here for your surfer jump, you can step it around. Make it dynamic. Push up, surfer jump, or step and squat. So in this block, we will be doing three different moves total and we'll just be laddering through them. Meaning, we're just gonna be bouncing through all three in different orders as we go through the workout. Keep it up. Take a break. Grab your weight if you'd like one. We're heading into a sumo squat with an upright row. Toes are pointed out to the corners, knees track over top of the ankles, and row it up shoulder height. Try and neutralize those wrists. Keep it up. Breathe. You're looking strong. Keep it up. Looking strong. Almost through this. Sit it back. Push the knees out towards the pinky toe edge side of the foot. Engage through that core. Drop your weight. Back to those burpees with a surfer jump. Get some air on board. Here we go. Maybe hop it in the opposite direction this time through. Feel that core. We don't need to do a bunch of crunches to get toned and strong in the core. And remember, your core is so much more than a six pack. It's really your whole torso. It's your whole body minus your arms and your legs. So you don't need to do just crunches to get effective and strong core. Ugh. Next exercise, 
Two push-ups, 10 mountain climbers. Here we go. Anyone feeling that burn? I am. Here we go. Drive the D, come on, pull it in. From the toes or from the knees. If you're on your knees, you're right here. Chest between the hands. Look forward of your hands. Come on, a few more. Push, come on. Okay, we're back to the burpee with a surfer jump. Breathe. Come on, crew, let's go. Let's go, my friends. Uh, two push-ups. Actually, we could just do one. <laughs> burpee, surfer jump. Breathe when it's hard on that push-up. Take a few short breaths to carry you through. Take a few short exhales to pull you to the top. Awesome, awesome work. Sumo squat with an upright row. Here we go. Familiar move, set it up before you lift that weight. Get low, raise high. Squeeze those glutes at the top, full extension. Try and keep elbows at shoulder height. Come on, you're doing awesome. I'm right there with you, leading by example. Getting fit in our own living room, it's so easy. You just have to do it, right? No one will get results for you. You have to put the work in. Whew. Last time through, burpee surfer jump. Last time. Here we go. Last 50 seconds. Then you get a break. Remember, you can take your break or hold a plank with me, either from your toes or from your knees. Lose your form. Modify. If you're feeling fatigued, just keep moving. Zip up that belly as you're pushing up. Okay, here's your 30 second break. Get down into plank if you want an added challenge. Breathe. Zip it up, slight tuck in that tailbone, push the floor away from you. Shoulders over wrists here. Hop it up. Okay, everyone, grab your weight. We're heading into a front lunge, back lunge, and then a side lunge. So this is otherwise known as a three-point lunge, other side. So we're alternating sides. Sit the bum back. Front lunge, back lunge, side lunge. Set it up. 
Other side. Sit the bum back on that side lunge. Awesome, put the weight down. High knees or skipping. Here we go. High knees, join me. Keep your hands at hip height. Drive those knees up. Get them high. Now if high knees becomes too much, I want you here. It's a dynamic march. It's by no means a rest or an excuse to be lazy. It's effort. You're working hard. Lean the upper body back a little. Keep it up. You're looking strong. Woo! Okay, third exercise, squat. So you're here, squat, or grab a weight and do a swing with me. So grab your weight, wide stance. Here we go. Either one or two dumbbells. Drive the hips at the top. Flat back here. No strain in that low back. If there is, drop the weight and don't come down as low. Watch those knees. They track over top of the ankle. Breathe. Come on. We've got this. Work it. Why did you press play today? Maybe you're wondering why you press play yourself at this point in the game. Whew. Back to high knees. This time, you're here where we were before. Hands at hip height. Touch those thighs to your hands. Or more advanced, bring it into a standing mountain climber. Lift the arms, drive. Come on guys, you're over halfway through. Come on. A few more to go. Take that break. Front back side lunge. Grab your weight. Grab your weight. Here we go. Hold it at chest height. Front, back, side. Watch your knees. Front knee tracks over ankle. In the front and the back lunge. Switching sides, alternating. Keep that middle section zipped right up. 20 seconds to go. Working on balance, strength. Compound moves. Drop the weight. We're back to high knees. Oh, you are so close. Don't quit on me now. So you're here. Or you're here with me. Arms overhead. Two more exercises after this. Then we hit our plank. Then ab bonus time. Come on, last 15. 
If you're starting to fatigue, you're here. Drive the knee up. Come on. Use the arms as momentum. Right to the end. Oh, I'm feeling it. Grab your weight. Swings. Let's go. Let's go. Feet are wide. Toes point out to the corners of the room. Knees bend in line with the middle toes. Sit back, heart is high, back is flat. Squeeze up those butt cheeks at the top. We have one more round of high knees after this. Cardio core, it's on. Your best moves to feel tight and lean. Holy Hannah. Last three, two, one. Okay, okay, here we go. Here we go. High knees, last round. Ready? Let's go. Come on. You've got this. Don't quit on me. I'm not quitting on you. I'm feeling it too, but we will get to the end. Right? Right. Don't even tell yourself otherwise. Just keep moving. Keep breathing. Last 15. Come on. So close. 30 second break after this or hold for a 30 second plank. Okay, get down into your plank. Here we go. 30 seconds on the clock. Breathe. Sweat starting to fly. 10 more seconds. Come on. Pull that belly button into your spine. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Drop to your knees. Stretch it out. Child's pose. Holy. Awesome work. Okay, we're not done with the core. Strip your vest if you have one on. Grab a drink of water and meet me on the floor for your ab burnout. Okay guys, we're heading into pike abs to start. So you're lying on your back, legs are up, and you're reaching up for those toes. So you're really hinging up that rib cage, trying to meet ribs to hip. Ready? 50 seconds here. Starting session. Let's go, set it up. Back is flat on the floor. Get the arms up. Ready? Here we go. Try and touch your toes or your shoelaces if you're wearing shoes. Keep that belly button drawing in. Lift those shoulders off the ground. Look up at your toes. Shoulders relax. Reach up. That will help give that nice toning and tightness in the abdominals. Keep going, 10 seconds. Reach, lift and reach. Last five. Okay, hop it over, plank position. We're going knee to elbow. So either on your toes or drop to your knees. You're bringing knees to elbow. Alternate sides. Try and keep those hips stable. Don't let them sink to the left or the right. Engage the quadriceps to help stabilize you. 
Look ahead of your hands. Push more weight into the meaty part of your hand between your thumb and your pointer. Come on, last 10. We're heading down onto our belly after this. Strengthening the back. Lower all the way down. Let those abdominals release. Extend your arms out. Legs extend out. You lift up your legs. Come into a wide W-like position. Squeeze between the shoulder blades and the lats. Extend the arms out on the exhale. Inhale, come up. Exhale, release. Inhale and exhale. Stretch the legs behind you. Keep it up. Last 10 seconds. You're almost there. Neck is in neutral alignment. Slight tone in that bum. Awesome. Woo. Right, everyone, we're not quite done yet. We have 90 seconds left of work to do. Three different exercises, 10 reps of each exercise. First exercise is a suitcase crunch, and it looks like this. So you're on the floor, knees are bent, as you exhale, you come up, bring elbows towards the knees. Exhale, bring it back down. Option to drop the feet in between each rep. Otherwise, try and keep those knees hovering off the ground. Suitcase crunch, coming in for 10 reps. Second exercise is bicycle crunches. 10 reps, elbow to knee. Even try to reach the shoulder to the opposite knee. That will help keep the neck in neutral alignment and really engage through those obliques. Third exercise, we're gonna hop it over and do 10 mountain climbers. So 10 reps of each, 90 seconds. So theoretically, if we can match one rep per second, we should be able to get through those three exercises three times through. Let's give it a try. Who knows, let's see if we can do it. All right, my friends, hop onto your back, get set up for your suitcase crunch. Let's hit it, let's go. Here we go. One, two, breathe on the way up. Nine, 10, bicycle crunch. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Hop it over. 10 mountain climbers, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Hop it back onto your back, 10 suitcase crunches at your own pace. Forty-five seconds left. How's your pace? Ugh. Ten bicycles. One, two, three, four, five. Core's on fire. Three, two, one. Hop it over. Come on. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Third round. Let's see if we can make the timer. This is my 10th, heading into bicycles. There's that timer. Woo! Holy, that was awesome. All right. Well, I didn't quite get through all three rounds, but it sure is a good push to envision that. How did you do? Did you make it through three rounds? Maybe you kept pace with me. Maybe you were focusing on your form and really, really honing in on those muscles and uh, we're a little bit behind me. No worries, it's all good. As long as you feel tight and toned, like I said you would at the end, and you have a nice sweat going on from that cardio, you did everything right. <laughs> Thanks for joining me today. Take some time to stretch it out, foam roll, check out a yoga class online. 
I have lots on my channel to choose from, anywhere from 10 minutes to 40 minutes to an hour. So spend some time stretching and really deactivating those muscles that we worked so hard today. Thank you for taking this time for some self-care for you out of your day and to really build up that endorphin rush. Please join me again for another workout. And until next time, keep fit and have fun, my friends. Take care, bye-bye.